My name is Dayan Gashevich and I am a professor and the chair of learning analytics and informatics at the University of Edinburgh. Uh, I just started my new position at the University of Edinburgh only two months ago and I think this is probably the first uh, endowed chair in learning analytics. Learning analytics has come through a very long way. Uh, I think the major uh, barrier that the society and the whole field overcome in last several years is really to raise the overall awareness of, about the importance of data. Today we have many institutions that are very much aware that data are relevant. We are not talking only about uh, higher education institutions, but we are also talking about institutions that, that, are, that are relevant in K-12 education. So we also can see that this is best recognized through numerous types of positions that are open in different types of organizations. So for example, many institutions are hiring new professors, many institutions are hiring data analysts. Recently, we even learned that many schools, elementary schools are hiring uh, data analysts or directors of learning analytics. So in that sense, learning analytics overcame the major barrier and that is to raise awareness and to start motivating institutions to see the value of data. Obviously, another important uh, barrier that the field of learning analytics has overcome is to create a shared space, the formation of the community where people can freely exchange ideas internationally and also at different regional levels. Obviously, the Society for Learning Analytics Research played a central role in that process by trying initially to set up a, just a conference where people and practitioners and both researchers and policymakers could come, talk and jointly make and discuss issues in and problems that universities are facing and how data and analytics can assist in addressing some of these issues. Through our the further development of the field, we also managed to overcome an additional barrier, and that is to say that we help other uh, institutions and organizations to uh, self-organize, to start organizing regional projects and regional communities. A great example of that regional project is also the LAIS project, which is funded by the European Commission and which is trying to coordinate efforts across the Europe. These types of efforts are essential, essential and they are demonstrating uh, the extent to which collaboration is a true and important factor in developing community and overcoming significant barriers in our project. Um, where you see learning analytics within five years' time? Learning analytics is a field obviously in the very early stages of its development and the field itself, while it had some very interesting uh, promises, it is still of course uh, um, very far from its, its full potential. And we are presently seeing a lot of learning analytics and initially we saw in the early days of learning analytics that many people would focus primarily on student success and for student retention. And obviously those are two very important goals for many institutions. This is of course very important for even many government bodies where increasing the number of university graduates is one of the important targets. Uh, at the same time, also making sure that many students who enter the universities are also graduating from those universities. However, uh, while we are developing as a field, we are also realizing more and more that predicting retention is often not sufficient. Predicting, predicting retention is important. However, what we really at this stage is are missing how analytics can be translated into guidance that learners can take an action based on the analytics and feedback that was provided uh, for them. Very often we are seeing a metaphor of so quantified self, which is a metaphor widely used uh, to increase, for example, different types of health outcomes or to increase walkability of people. However, uh, with walkability is fairly easy. When people are using different types of uh, parameters, they are counting the number of steps. And if you are not making enough steps every day, the action is very clear and very easy for many people. Just do more steps. However, when we are talking about learning, we cannot just say that students don't uh, visit or spend enough time studying. If students are spending more time studying and they are failing still, then it's not just that they are not spending enough time and they are not studying sufficiently. They are obviously missing something else. They are typically missing study skills. So the major barrier for learning analytics to overcome is to come up with different types of strategies which will assist the learners to improve their study skills and that to translate them into effective learning workers in the future.